Hi, everyone. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now, this is confusing, but we got it. We made it. Can you, can you hear me all right? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. I have my headphones in now. So. Yeah, it's more like I've got the phone planted so the speaker's on the table, but if you can hear me, then we're good. We're all good. I can hear you talk shit. I, I can hear I can hear it all. Good, good, good. <laughs> all right, well, yeah, we're just here to answer whatever questions you lot may have or anything you want to say, anything you want to ask. Oh, my God, Dylan. Belgium loves us. Hell, yeah. I've never been to Belgium, so... I Neither have I. I would love to go to Belgium. I hear they have very nice chocolate. That is something that I do hear about them. And canals. Lots of canals. Yeah, right I, do. I, like, I like a canal, me. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I've got some questions that were sent in earlier, if we don't see any come up oh. here. Um, so, okay. Oh. No. We'll go with what scene was most fun to shoot. What scene was most fun to shoot for you? Uh, for me... The, I think I actually really enjoyed the uh, apartment scene that's in the trailer where you kind of kick down the door. I thought that was yeah, uh, that yeah, was a really too. fun. One. That's yeah. the only thing we have together, isn't it? Is that? Oh yeah, because well, I guess we shouldn't spoil it, but um, or is uh, it actually? Oh, oh, it could not be because, but maybe yeah. there's the but, you know the, the and then there is that. So yeah. yeah. But that is, the, that, is the, that is the kind of, like, where they meet, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I've already What's said that favorite? before, anyway, but What's it probably would be that one, man. I, like, I, I wanted to explore that kind of dynamic with all three of them, all three of them there, like, like more. But I think we've given them enough. I think they'll be very content with that scene. I think so, too. I think this is, uh, I mean, from what I gather, at least, this is a very differently paced movie than from the first one. I did end up watching the first one while we were filming the second one. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm fun funny enough, I don't watch a lot of movies in general. Um, but I did end up watching it, and I think just the pacing of it's very different, so I think everyone would be happy. Yeah, I think there's a whole, there's a lot of, just, I think we managed to fit, like, different, more different genres. I feel like, like there's a wider range of, of movie making there. And I have to tell everyone that um, Dylan, some of your bits, bro, like your wet, like when I'm on set, but I'm just watching you do your bits, and they're just like <laughs> right, again and again and again, and you're just improvising, and every take is like world class, definitely more than usable. <laughs> like that for oh, me was fun, funner than filming was watching you do some of the improv, like in the bathroom, and I don't want to say it too much, but yeah, yeah, we had they, they're they're gonna we had that. some good improv stuff. Actually, funny, I was gonna say, I know we're in a, we're going back and forth on compliments, but I got and I can text you this. I remember on the set, but because uh, you and I have the phone call, right? So they wanted me to watch your phone call scene. Oh yeah, which I won't spoil. Uh, yeah. But your performance in that scene is amazing, bro. Like I, I still was like, oh. it got me right into it. I watched the footage and I was like, okay, I know exactly where to go, and it made it super easy for me because um, you didn't uh, have footage to to hear. No, but weirdly, I think I think I think I'd already shot my side, and then you, um, I, I watched you do your bit and read it you know, read it like there. So I was actually watching you do it live, which was obviously sick as well. I'm getting worried we're giving away too much, but none of, I think we're good. I think we're giving them just enough to be hungry, but not enough to be satisfied. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Good. Uh, good. Yeah, good. that's fine. And unless anyone wants to say anything in here, a lot of this chat is just emojis that I really appreciate, but like any questions <laughs> as well, any questions as well, we'll be willing to answer. Yeah, let's see. I have to scroll up with my sausage-like finger to <laughs> to see some of these questions. Um, there was a <clears throat> someone asked what the harden of the book, which I'm guessing is is like will 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 they see yeah. more harden? Again? Yeah, I mean, I, we definitely do get to see more more of Harden um, and more of like his what goes on in his head and what he's been through, and and I think of a lot of that will make how Harden is in the first movie make more sense because he's quite mysterious. It's one of those things where I think the more we learn further down the line of the story, the more it will make sense. All those previous bits will, will, will make more sense if, if, if that makes any sense in itself. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a, I wouldn't say a new Harden, but there's, a lot, there's a, lot, a lot more to him, which was really fun to play. I like this question. Was there, was there an object uh, you took home from set? Is there anything that you, that you nicked? 
or that you were given? I got to keep, uh, I got to keep whichever one of the Hugo Boss suits I wanted, which was pretty cool. Um, mm. So there's a lot of uh, fantastic suits. So I think I took the one that was like a, a brighter blue color, which was nice. I remember that one. Your watch was matching it. Am I, am I correct in saying the watch? Matched? Yeah, yeah. The, the, all of the yeah. all of the props were like matching. I mean, I think Trevor's a style god when it comes down yeah. to socks. Underwear. To to Toby, Toby, the prop guy. Big up Toby. I don't know. Yeah, he he, yeah. Was really, he, he, he had his stuff down to a T. That was really, he was really good at what he did. Um, I took a ring by accident. I think twice I've taken Harden's ring by accident back home. Accident. A new one. Mm -hmm. uh, I did I get see. a request to say fucking Trevor. So fucking <laughs> Trevor. I'm never going to pass on an opportunity to say fucking Trevor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what, 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 even I've caught myself saying it. I yeah. think that's just more his I was name say, than Trevor. Well, yeah, it is a bit. What would you What would you reckon you might say if there was an equivalent back to Harden? What would What would What would Trevor call Harden? I mean, I don't think anything really beats fucking in yeah, front of true. something. So I mean, fucking Harden also really works. You know, it would be like it would be like horrible Harden or something. It's not. The same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can really uh, alliterate here and go into uh, our thesauruses, but I think, is, <laughs> I think fucking is simple and to the point. Yeah. Um, did you have a day ritual on set before you start shooting? Uh, I don't know. Down in Atlanta, it's hard not to have uh, Chick-fil-A as your day ritual, um, which uh, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fried chicken sandwich guy, uh, but I was trying to be lean and sexy. All you guys are like lean and sexy, and I have like a, a normal <laughs> normal peasant's body. No. So, uh, I was like, <laughs> you know, maybe I'll skip the cold spot again. Those, chick <laughs> those Chick-fil-A's have, have taken their toll, you know. I thought I was, I thought I was invincible, but they, they, do, they do take their toll. You've got to watch it, but wow, are they good. It's still good. I need Chick-fil-A in oh, London. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your, what's your, uh, Song my, of choice. My, well, I think it's just the the, the I think it's Chick Fil A Chick -fil -A. sauce. I get the spicy one though. I think you kind of have to. Oh yeah, the spicy chicken sandwich. See, now for me, I go Polynesian sauce. What I don't know is, why. I don't even know what that is. You couldn't. I mean, I I couldn't explain what it actually. I'm sure is. I'll like it, but yeah. I feel like we should probably answer some after questions. We should <laughs> actually, we're promoting Chick Fil A. Yeah. Uh, I'm having another look. Um... Mm -hmm. Let's see. I saw some up there. Um, how long did uh, filming the movie take? Different for you than for me, right? How long were you there? Yeah, I mean, it all kind of blurs into one. I think we were there for like, for like a couple of months, um, but we weren't filming for that long. I think we, it was around a month of actual filming, and then beforehand, you obviously have all the costume stuff and prop stuff, and it's really nice to be like so heavily involved in that stuff. I think a lot of my experiences come from like dip in, dip out, or you know, quick, quick turn around stuff but when you're there for the whole process you get to kind of have a say in stuff like you know tattoos and props and and you know it's uh it's nice to be a bit more involved have a bit more of a say and it's not a bad place cool. to spend time either i mean it's it's not at all good food and uh you guys i mean we're working with all the same cast as the first one so yeah yeah and it's crew nice I mean, deal. We, we i think people all know like how much we value the 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 crew um for sure it shows, by the way, because as soon as I went onto the set, I was only there for like what two weeks or something. But as soon as I went on the set, you know, it seemed like it was it, everybody had known each other for three years, so it was kind of cool. Yeah, no, that is. Um, I've got a couple questions about Joe. We both just spoke to Joe, so we can we can. They're just saying, "How is Joe? Um, how is she? Uh, she seems great. She uh, she said something about uh, spring spring onion propagating, keeping her busy. Oh, yeah." <laughs> Uh, I was doing tomato stuff through through lockdown, but uh, Joe as well. What were you doing through lockdown, Dylan? Through lockdown, I, I well, I wasn't growing anything like you two. I mean, growing spring onions. Bar that, bar that mustache, bar that mustache, and the, and yeah, the, and the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a beard competition with my brother, um, which he lost for the record. Really? Uh, How did you did. measure that? How did you? It's just uh, overall size, girth, foliage. Yeah, coverage. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of different factors, but, um, <laughs> but no, I didn't. I didn't get. A, I've just watched a lot of anime with Barbara. That's pretty much yeah. all. Yeah, I started done. watching it a little bit. 
Um, Did you? A little bit of, I don't, I'm not a big anime guy, but I watched, started re, I watched like Avatar as a kid, so I started rewatching some of that, which is quite basic oh, yeah. anime, I guess. Like, it's not deep, deep. Well, it's funny anime. because that's actually one of the only series I never got into. Uh, and not because I didn't like it, just because I kind of missed the train. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right, sorry, we're going anime Chick Fil A. That's another one of them ones. <laughs> Back to after. Hero, how how uh, what percentage of you is a match to Harden? That's a question. Good. I like how it's phrased because they say like how similar, and I find that, I find it difficult to like. Um, I think I am like I'd say like maybe maybe near near the fifty mark. I'd say just below fifty. But there is a lot about him. That you know, not his extreme behavior sides as much, but more just like his 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 loyalty. And there's a lot of admirable things about him that I would like to say that I that I that I share with him. So I'd say forty-seven point five. That's a that's oh, a very number. specific percentage. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you go for the seven instead of the forty-five? <laughs> uh, I guess it just invokes more conversation. Like yeah, it just did. You got me. <laughs> um. Ooh. What do you think is the biggest differences between Harden and Trevor? They're obviously big. They're huge. They are very yeah. different people. I think it's so yeah. nice to have Trevor's character um, just in the just just in the mix. Like I think I think it's a super just it just adds so much more well needed complexity to the whole relationship and Harden and 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 all of that. I, I would yeah I'd, I'd lobby that I think probably. Uh, that their passion gets uh, invoked in a very different way. I feel like Harden's probably much more passionate, uh, whereas Trevor's very analytical and, like, compromising. Like, whereas yeah. Harden kind of knows what he's about and he follows it through. I think maybe yeah. a little more brave on Harden's perspective, but Trevor is, you know, he thinks things through a lot. Yeah, no, well said. I think when I'm in Harden's, you know, perspective, I think on, externally... I wasn't too drawn to, to, to Trevor or anything. But I think when we're filming, like when, when you see the final product, I think there is so, I think he's such a great character. I think, uh, yeah, he's like a real important part of the part of the story now for me anyway. I think so too. He's, he's funny, like breath of fresh air to some degree too. I think people are either going to respond to kind of his wit. Because I know that uh, he was written to not have much humor involved with him at least anna was telling me um, yeah but when it works so well. and it said it kind of does work um, I, I think there's so much so. that like that so much that you just can't help but change when you go from book to movie and i think anna is so perfect having her there because she can kind of say what she, you know what works really well in the book but it just won't in the movie and therefore like is the perfect person to have to like steer our change in the right direction and give you the go as it's like that humor element is is all right, and it will work. I personally think it really it really. Does, but, um, I think I think it's pretty fun. What is uh? Do you have any favorite series? It said, or what's the hardest scene to film? Oh, did we lose you? Favorite? Yeah. No, no. Have you got me? Okay. Still got me? I, I don't see I your you. uh, video. Oh, okay. You frozen for me, but I think we're all right. Favorite okay. series? Game of Thrones has got to be up there, despite the final season. Top boy, <laughs> glad top boy is up there. Anyone who's not from London. If you are, you know what Top Boy is, but check that out. Um, to name a few, what was the second question? Uh, what was the hardest scene to film? Hardest scene to film. Mm. Um, there's a there's another like big, you know, scene with a scene with a lot of a lot of cast members and extras and a lot going on, and you need a bunch of, to get a bunch of takes, and there's just a lot going on. Is the best way to describe that scene, and I think that. Uh, that was definitely most challenging. I think for everyone, I think when you've got so much to cover, so many people, so many things, you got, you got to like, you got to film it. Just it's just it's a bit it's a bit harder. But um, all all the worthwhile, I'm sure. Hero, what was it like to have another Brit on set? I can tell you that that was amazing. Um, <laughs> having Louise on set was like a it was weirdly I didn't know how nice it was until until it was it was there. So. Um, yeah, I don't know why that is. I think it's just the accent, the comforting accent. And because she's playing my mum, it's like, it, it was, yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> um, cool. I mean, I think we, do, we have time for like a couple more. Describe each other in three words. Uh, as in the characters or each other? Okay, you are goatee, goat Lee, like as in like goat as like an adjective. 
Like you are like the goat, the the goatish. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I like yeah. that. That's true. And you're also um, hilarious. We'll finish on. I like that. Okay, three, three to describe you. Um, uh, Legos. That's definitely one. Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely two. <laughs> and uh, devilishly handsome. I know that's two words. But... Uh, I'll take. I'll take. I'm flattered. Um, for the record, <laughs> no one ever tell Dylan anything that you have like want to touch on once because he'll make it out like it's your di- <laughs> not dying wish and hobby. But um, but yeah, no tomatoes and Lego. I've dabbled. I've dabbled. Uh, all right, cool. Um, I think that almost. I think that kind of brings us there. Unless any questions pop in last minute. Any last questions? I don't know. Would you, let's end on that. What's your dream role? Dream role at the moment? Oh, at the moment? I don't know. My dr- I feel like it changes once once it happens. I'd like to do a historical piece that is with swords and knightly armor and riding on horseback. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. Like a medieval movie would be fun. But, you know, we don't – like I feel like that's pretty much all for you guys in the U.K., I, I don't feel like we ever get that out. Here. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you yeah. mean. What about you? Um, I'd go with another after. I think that's a good way to end it. What I a think beautiful we've, response. we've got more. We need. We've <laughs> got more. We need to say. We need to get back on set together. Uh, we've got that's a right. lot more story to tell. So I'll, I'll lock in. I'll lock in another another after. Wow. Sick. All right. Well, that takes us to the end. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thank you for all your questions. Sorry if we didn't get to answer them but yeah i hope everyone's blessed stay safe take care thanks a bunch everyone see you soon bye bye enjoy the movie yeah no